There was a lot of people around. I was surprised given that you have a steep price tag, which you just mentioned. Also some wet, wintry weather. But uh, regardless, they were here hoping to be some of the first to get their hands on a new Vision Pro. Also, you had CEO Tim Cook flying in just after earnings to open the doors, as you mentioned, to the Fifth Avenue iconic cube. And I thought it was interesting in that, you know, Apple's really betting right now that we're going to spend more time in the virtual world. Spatial computing is what they call it. So you've seen the advertisements for the Vision Pro. It looks like an expensive pair of ski goggles, but it's packed and loaded with a lot of technology. So think about wearing four iPhones worth on your face. Now I caught up with Tim Cook inside and I asked him about the price point, which he defended saying that it's value because you're paying for a piece of tomorrow today. And just like the Mac, as more and more people buy the Vision Pro, they'll figure out new ways to use it. And it's also interesting that a lot of the people that were lined up early this morning were actual developers who are racing to get their hands on the Vision Pro to figure out how they can maybe make something new for it. And they said price was not an issue. It's a lot of money, but yeah, again, you're, you're, this is a revolutionary product. It's like the next iPhone, in my opinion. The price point is not throwing me off. Like, I'm willing to pay $3,500. It's that moment where you're going to see, like, oh, is this going to be a big hit or not? Um, we don't know yet until we try. Yeah. Now, I've tried the Vision Pro and also the MetaQuest 3, and I can tell you that the Apple technology is incredible. No hand controllers, so all you have to do is look at what you want to bring up. It tracks your eye movements. They're not going to ship a lot of these in the first year, maybe 400,000, ramp up to 5 million, according to Morgan Stanley, in the next half decade. But as you know, Liz, this is the MO of Apple, so they iterate with each generation, and hopefully it'll get cheaper, it'll get lighter, it'll get faster as more and more people use it, hopefully, in their view.